guys, what is up? How you doing? Welcome back to Art Wednesday. When I do something artistic and creative. Um, now on Thursday, because I was busy all day Wednesday. And I am just now finished recording this at 11 o'clock at night. Um, so if you guys watched the vlog, I was talking about doing this idea. So I'm like, why not just go ahead and do it? I will just go with it and see how it works out. And I've decided to do it on my bed because I don't actually crochet at my desk. Um, I keep my desk for other stuff like diamond painting. My voice sounds horrible. It sounds like it's dying. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, I actually prefer to crochet on my bed and I just now noticing my hair looks like a mess. <laughs> so it's a good thing you can't really see it. But, um, if you watch the vlog, I talked about how like, expensive ombre yarn is. Um, so the purple one you saw is the official ombre coloring brand that I was supposed to use. So you can get an idea for the size. Um, I did look at Joann's. They do have that yarn. It's $10 before tax. Hi, baby Raven. You want to be in the video? Um, so, yeah, I'm like, no, thank you. So, I decided to use the colors you saw in the video. So, the only color scheme that's actually matching is the purple. Um, the middle and center and, like, the first little square. It's supposed to be a variegated pink. So, I'm going to use the pink that I showed you guys. And then, when it turns into more, like, a square, I'm going to use that dark pink. And then I have that black, whitish gray uh, for the next stripe, which that one is supposed to be a variegated gray yarn. Um, the, I have gray, but it's solid. I've had this black and white yarn for forever, so I'm like, okay, let me just use that. Then it goes out to that purple. And I think it's going to either look really good or really bad. I'm a little worried about the black and white gray combo against the purple i don't actually know if i'm gonna like that um as for the pattern um as always it is well written the video so it's very easy to follow um some parts were really challenging just because of like how the yarn looked on like when when he was doing it it's kind of hard to tell like where the actual stitch was so i kind of just winged it but yeah, and I really do like this variegated yarn that I chose. I've had it for a while as well. I actually used it for uh, Comet the Unicorn, um, who actually has not sold, surprisingly. you think it would have sold by now. And for those who are wondering, Raven is right next to me in the studio getting butt scratches and head scratches. <laughs> Um, yes, you love your little head scratches, you will butt scratch. Um, what can I say about the video? Hmm, I'm almost done with school. Woohoo. I had a plan for this, like, bingo thing. I found this bingo board for, like, crochet, and I changed some of the things, so... It wouldn't actually, if I do decide to do it, it wouldn't actually be like a bingo. Like me trying to get like five in a row type of thing. I feel like I would just want to do them in a row. Or like at random. But just do whichever one I feel like doing on the board. And so the whole board is full. Um, I feel like that's going to take a long time though. So I feel like I'm going to do, I'm going to wait to do that until I'm out of school. So... I'm thinking maybe August 1st is when I think I will start that one. But other than that, I'm not really sure what I have planned for next week. So if you guys have ever have any ideas, let me know down below in the comments that I'm just now remembering. I forgot to turn on for the vlog. So I will have to do that. I've always wondered, so, my main channel, obviously the comments are always off. I gotta turn them on manually. 
But when I made, like, the vlog channel, like, a separate email, like, a brand new account, the comments were already off. And I'm, so I don't know what happened there. I don't, because that account was, like, brand new. I hadn't done anything on it yet. But I do have to manually turn those comments on as well. Which kind of stinks, but we'll just go with it. Um, this technique and, uh, stitches that you're seeing here, um, it's actually really simple. It's not, um, I wouldn't say beginner, but I wouldn't say, say advanced either. I'd say it's right in the middle. Um, it's single crochets, doubles, trebles. Um, uh, it's really simple. The only thing is that's a little complicated is, like, the stitch work. When you're making, like, the clusters and putting them into, like, certain stitches that is where i got confused but yeah and i also want you guys to know that i have been showing great restraint because hobby lobby had their like 60 70 percent off whatever sale and i did not go for two reasons one i don't actually like hobby lobby's yarn it's they don't have michael brand joanne's heart or like Karen, um, the heart one that I'm forgetting that I always use. They don't have any of those brands. They only carry their brand. And their brand is expensive. It's not like they have a lot of beautiful yarn. I just don't like that one. They only have their brand. And two, I don't like the price of it. So I just don't go there. Um, I much prefer Joann's because it's closer and yeah, there's always at least one coupon. Same for Michael's. Um, the reason why I don't go to Michael's is because unfortunately I've got one aisle. One double-sided aisle. And every time I've gone, it's been empty. There's literally nothing there. Like the only thing that there was today was like a few, um, colors of solid yarn colors. Um, there was a lot of cakes and a lot of chunky weight six. That's like a ten dollars just gain. But that was about it. There was like barely anything else there, and I'm like, oh, well, it's a good thing I don't need yarn. Um, funny enough, I know you guys are gonna laugh. Um, there is like a meat. It's called medium rose, or something like that, and it's for the not the forest, um, the mountain blanket that I'm working on, I'm almost out of that one, but like, I, I'm so close, I'm hoping I don't need another skein, but I know deep down in my heart, I'm gonna need another skein, <laughs> and it, if it wasn't for the mountains, I might try to find, a, like, another color to just wing it, but the problem with that is it's also going to, um, someone, dear to me so yeah and this blanket is huge i it said it was a throw so i'm like okay it's not going to be that big it's going to get done really quickly my bed is a queen bed you guys know that you, or you should know that anyways it's bigger than my bed by now i think last time i measured it, it was barely not like it was barely on my bed it was already hanging off the edge so yeah this is gonna be a monstrosity to ship i am scared um <laughs> i got some graduation money so my plan is to take one of those um vacuum seal bags i'm gonna take it to lehigh and borrow my grandpa's vacuum i'm gonna seal it and hopefully it's not gonna weigh as much it costs fifty dollars to ship um, I did get um, that much uh, for my graduation, which I am very blessed about. So, the way I look at it, shipping will be free regardless. But, I'm kind of scared to let, to know what it's going to be. Um, I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know. And I'll also do a video, of course, before I ship it off. Um, it's now 11.10 and I am probably going to go to bed. I don't think I'm going to work on the uh, mountain blanket tonight. 
But let me know how you guys like this blanket so far. Um, this is the complete week of round one. It is complete. And this is 10 rows as well. I believe that it's week two gets posted tomorrow. I'm not sure though. But I probably won't be doing it on camera. <laughs> Bye guys.